Let's look at tutorial 1-4. We are told that a pressure gauge is used to measure the pressure in an air duct. It reads a vacuum of 70 millimeter mercury. Remember, in engineering and pressure measurement, when you see the word vacuum, it means a pressure lower than atmosphere. And in this case, we usually, for calculations, say that the pressure is negative, taking atmospheric pressure as zero. Now, let's continue. We are asked, what is the absolute pressure of the air duct in bar? And we are given the density of mercury, and we are given atmospheric pressure. And what we need now, if you recall, is the relation between absolute pressure gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure. So let's get started. Let's write out this relation. P absolute is equal to P gauge plus P atmospheric. So remember our 70 millimeter mercury is going to be negative when we do our computation. So the pressure, since we are given head, we are now going to convert it into pressure, which is minus 13,600 multiplied by 0 0.07 to change millimeters into meter multiplied by g 9.81 plus our atmospheric pressure which is 1.0 one three i have to now change my bar into newton per meter square which is a multiplication of 10 to the fifth power now if you evaluate this you find that you will get a pressure of nine one nine six zero pascal or newton per meter squared changing it to bar we move five decimal places and you get zero point nine two bar that concludes this question now let's look at tutorial one dash five here you are given at one point in an oil pipeline the flow velocity is 5 meters per second and you are told the pressure is 30 kilopascal we are supposed to find the pressure head the velocity head of the oil you are given the relative density of oil is 0 0.9 ok so what we need is we need to convert the pressure into pressure head now remember pressure head can be computed by using p over rho g Okay, and if we substitute 30 times 10 to the power of 3, 30 kilopascals, divided by the density of water, which is 1,000,
sorry, um, oil multiplied by 0 0.9 multiply now by 9.81 and this gives us the value of 3.4 meters of oil. Pay attention to the units. We cannot just say 3.4 meters, meaningless. 3.4 meters of the fluid being pumped. Next, we need to calculate the velocity head. Now, this works out to V squared over 2G. Now, given the velocity is 5 meters per second, 5 squared over 2 times 9.81, and this evaluates to 1.2. 274 meters of oil. So that wasn't difficult.